Hello, I'm Angela Wardle and I'm going to talk about the range of material used in Romano-British homes which could loosely be classified under the term cutlery, items used for eating, serving and food preparation, chiefly spoons and knives. This film is about spoons while another will deal with knives. Spoons can be seen occasionally on wall paintings but mainly the type of spoon used for eating as here. A variety of large spoons, ladles, spatulas and scoops used for the preparation and serving of food were in use in Britain before the Roman conquest, but small spoons used for dining were introduced by the Romans. Spoons can be classified by the shape of the bowl, the handle and the form of junction between the bowl and handle. Small round bowled spoons, often no more than two centimetres in diameter, with pointed handles known as cochlearia, were made from bone or copper alloy, sometimes tinged to give a silvery appearance, and date from the 1st and 2nd centuries. All spoons of this form had a plain handle with a circular section sharply pointed at the end, which is probably functional, used for spearing food in the absence of a fork. The lower end of the handle often appears on the underside of the bowl as a rat tail. The name cochlea may have continued in use for spoons with pointed handles and there is much variation in the shape of the spoon bowl which evolved over time. This oval spoon bowl from London is made of copper alloy. Spoons with pear-shaped bowls appear in the second century. They could have been made of copper alloy or lead alloy or silver, as is the case with this spoon from Colchester. Some London examples are decorated, in this case with fish, three red mullet, and this one shows a cantharus and a parrot. Spoons with a wasted neck close to the handle, called variously mandolin, lute, fiddle or purse-shaped, were later in date. The spoons show a variety of handle forms. Moulds for the manufacture of such spoons have been found at Castleford with pottery of 3rd and 4th century date. The illustrations show several of the clay moulds, a reconstruction drawing of the type of spoon made there and a drawing of the multiple mould in which they were mass produced. The early round bowled spoons had straight handles in line with the bowl, while the handle of spoons with other bowl shapes are often offset, with a small shoulder close to the bowl and a gooseneck shape. By the 4th century, this became a distinctive decorative feature. This silver spoon of 3rd century date, with a pivoted folding handle, was originally a composite spoon and knife with an iron blade, now missing a portable dining kit taken by a guest to a dinner party. You can see the hinge and the slot along the handle for the blade. As we have seen, most spoons found on British sites are made from copper alloy, sometimes tinned to look like silver. Many spoons were also made from bone and some made of lead alloy, but spoons made of precious metals are often found in late Roman hoards. The most notable example, the Hoxon treasure. This partly gilded oval silver spoon, called a cygnus, is a 4th century form about the size of a modern tablespoon with a handle in the form of a stylized water bird. These silver spoons from the Thetford treasure are highly decorated. Such spoons represent the tableware of a wealthy elite in the 4th century. More prosaically, larger spoons and ladles were used for food preparation and serving and are found in both metal and wood which only survives in anaerobic, typically waterlogged, conditions. Sieve spoons would have drained food, as this London example shows. Distinctive elongated wooden scoops are also found. Both of these are from London, one with an elaborately decorated handle, a head with African features.